Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and this video is part 2 of the Android on a Raspberry Pi lineup. In my previous video I showed you how to fully install Android 9 on your Raspberry Pi, so if you missed that part make sure to watch it first, since that video is the base for today's tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how to fully install the Google Play Store on Android 9 on your Raspberry Pi. But before you get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, and you enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe and if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And now let's get started. In order to install the Google Play Store, you'll have to download GAPS or GAPS, which includes the required Google services and the Play Store. To do so, simply click on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to a website called OpenGAPS or OpenGAPS. Then select ARM as the platform, Android 9 as the OS, and Pico as the variant, and click on download. Once you've done that, you'll need to enable the developer options in order to get root access and the local terminal. To do so, open up the settings, scroll down to about tablet, and then click on build number around 5 to 6 times. As you can see, the developer options have now been enabled. Now simply go back and click on system, advanced and scroll down to developer options. Then go ahead and find root access and allow apps and ADB. You'll also have to locate the option local terminal and enable it. After that you can move the gaps package into the root of your storage to make things a little easier. To do so open up files and go to your downloads. Then drag the open gaps package into the Raspberry Pi 4 folder. After doing all of that, quickly reboot the system by holding F5 on your keyboard, which will open up the power menu and click on restart. After restarting Android, go to the apps menu and open up the terminal. Then type su, hit enter and click on allow. Now type rpi4recovery.sh and click enter again. To boot into the recovery options, you'll need to restart your Pi by typing reboot. After that, swipe to allow modifications and click on install. Now you'll need to locate the previously installed GAPS package and swipe to install. When GAPS is finished installing, click on Wipe Dalvik and swipe to wipe. Then go back to the menu by clicking on the logo in the top left corner. Select Wipe and then select Wipe to Factory Reset Android. After that, go back to the menu again, click on Mount and check Boot, System and Data. Then go back once again and select Advanced and Terminal. From here you'll need to make sure the Pi doesn't boot into the recovery options each time by typing rpi4 recovery.sh boot. The last thing left to do in the terminal is rebooting the Pi by typing reboot and hitting enter. Android will now restart again and you'll have to go through the same basic setup process. As you can see, the Google Play Store now appears on the home screen. 
When opening it up, you'll have to sign in with your Google account like you would on any other Android device. And once you've done that, you should be able to access and install apps and games from the Google Play Store. But apart from that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point check related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.